Hi, Steve with Knee Family Lights again. What I want to show to you today is a bin of equipment that I use uh, to do any kind of field repair, both for either for my show at my house or at the Vine Church uh, for Vine Lights. So what I have here is a, uh, a bin, a bunch of stuff inside, and a few things on top. Uh, I take this around if I need to go and do any kind of investigation or repair. So let's dive right in. So let's first start with what doesn't fit in the bin, at least right now, there's a lot of stuff in the bin that I don't use. Um, and that is a, a test setup. So I have a 12 volt power supply. You can use a five volt power supply if you have five volt pixels. And I have a variety of different ends on here. Mostly it was used for when I was setting things up. But the primary thing for doing any testing is to have a, a pixel, a little mini tester controller. This thing, uh, and I'll put a link in the description below has a little remote so you can hit the different colors and just check things out. Uh, what I've done here is I soldered onto the end of it one of the pixels so I can see what it's supposed to be doing. And then I have a pigtail so that way I can connect it to anything. This is fundamentally the first thing that I use for anything to troubleshoot any issues. Um, that way I don't have to fire up the entire show. I don't have to fire up the, the Falcon controllers. It's just get power, plug this in, diagnose the problem with this little guy. Um, if you need it, I also have uh, marked in red power injection. Again, this was only used when I was setting things up. I have a few different connectors on my house for uh, power injection. So if I needed to do that to do some testing before setting up the show, uh, we will use this. All right, so I have a hodgepodge of stuff in this uh, CG1500. This is a great little place uh, in here, and I'll start pulling things out one at a time. I um, need the vice grips to strip the wires and the pixels. I've got stuff to do all um, pixel repair. I, I personally prefer to do uh, to solder replacement pixels in if I need to do that. So I always take a soldering iron with me. I've got the wire strippers, wire cutters. These things are right on top. Um, I have a spool of heat shrink tubing, and I cut a bunch of uh, one-inch pieces off of them. See them there. And I just put them in a the baggie. Any pixel repair you need to do, you need at least six of them. So I probably have enough to do eight pixels here at any given time. And I'll just keep putting more in there. It's just easier to take this around than to bring the whole spool. Some to sh uh, little butane torch to shrink the heat shrink. Stuff for the soldering iron to clean the tip. I rarely need uh, this unless I'm making new pigtails, but something to help you hold things. If they're already in the prop, uh, the pixels aren't going anywhere. Um, extra wiring, which I never use. This is very useful to have the, uh, the rubber gaskets for the waterproofing on the pigtails. So I have a whole bag of those extra in case when I'm setting up or doing something, I see that there's a piece missing. I got solder for soldering. Liquid tape. This is the case for, uh, in a few places where I'm uh, self power injecting, I couldn't get heat shrink around everything. so. Uh, using liquid tape is, tape is what I've been using to kind of keep everything covered. In case you need a little electrical tape. Um, I do also have a tester in here. I just find having that separate tester um, works out easier for me. And a utility knife to kind of cut back any wire sheathing as needed. I have a few different types of uh, pixel repair options here. I'll show that here in a minute. There's, okay, let's go into this bin and see what we have. This bin is used for repair. It's also used as the uh, primary uh, bin I use to set up uh, both the shows at my house and also at the Vine Lights. Um, hair dryer, thanks Revlon. Uh, I use this because sometimes those pigtails are tough to screw together. So just putting a little bit of heat on them when it's cold outside makes it significantly easier. Exactly. Here we've got, uh, so these are the larger uh, auto fuses. These go, I have not ever had to replace one of these, but it has all the different sizes um, for the uh, controller boxes. A bit of blue tape, use this to mark bad pixels, so that way you can cut the power before replacing any pixels, it's, it's very helpful. Um, some uh, heat shrink tubes with the solder inside. This has the mini fuses. These mini fuses are uh, the little five amp fuses, and these I do uh, replace every once in a while if there is an issue, like uh, any kind of short in the, in the circuit, um, these little guys will go. If there's a pigtail that gets water in it or something, these guys will go, so um, 
having a few of these around is very handy. They're all uh, the pistols came with a whole bunch of twist ties, so I have twist ties in case I need to do some cable management. Spare pixels, these are the bullet nodes. Uh, the 12 volt bullet nodes are used throughout both, uh, both shows, so this is generic for everything. A whole bunch of black zip ties, uh, these are 8 inch UV uh, black zip ties. Also have, if you need, white zip ties, a bunch of rubber bands in case you need to secure things um, that the Wire ties uh, don't work. I do have some square nodes in my show. Some of the negative I have a, a small bag of square nodes here. A lot of stuff at the church is stuck up, and even at my house, uh, onto the face of the building, whether it's the brick or my siding. I have a, have a, have a, a porcelain siding. So I use, use this industrial strength hot glue, with the glue gun. And of course, you need a box with a bunch of glue, and I'll put the type of glue that, that we use here that's industrial strength, and do be careful, it gets hot and it, it stays very hot. Uh, these are uh, mortar anchors, and these are what we use for uh, securing stuff at the church onto the, uh, the brick. Uh, this has the caps. Caps for the strings. When I set up for my Halloween show, I don't use all of the uh, all the pigtails. So in here, these things can just screw in the ends of the controllers, just so that way I don't have any open ends on the uh, the DC side. And then I take them off, put them back in this bag when I switch over to Christmas. Okay, it's good to have these cord protects. I found that uh, if any water gets into your extension, your AC extension cables. It will hit the trip the GFCIs, and that's kind of annoying because a lot of these uh, lights are powered off only a handful of circuits, so it takes out a lot of the show. Got fishing line. I use fishing line for um, holding the star in place so it doesn't spin on top of the mega tree. Also use fishing line on my house to suspend some of the props and also suspend some of the props at the church. The snowflakes that, that are running across the top are using fishing line to kind of first hang them on hooks that are hot glued to the building. And then we also hot glue the, uh, the snowflakes to the building. Um, if need be, this is at the church. These are the metal hooks that are glued to the building. So I just have extras of these in the bin in case we need to set up each year. Um, these are plastic self-adhesive zip tie pieces. These are on my garage door and they just stick to the garage door and the snowflakes are just zip tied to this and that's what's holding the snowflakes up. Um, for the butane torch, if you need more butane fuel, you can refill that torch with this guy. Zip tie gun. This thing uh, will pull to the right tension and clip the end of the zip tie. So uh, we use 150 zip ties every year for that center matrix at the church. This thing helps us to uh, pull and cut all those zip ties. And as we get down to the bottom here, uh, these are um, three conductor uh, wire connectors. They look like this. Actually, I really like this for field repairs. Uh, from a pixel replacement perspective, the church show has 10,000 pixels. And each year I only replace about two or three. And it's usually in the first week uh, of powering the pixels. So I, what I do is I run the power uh, through the evening for the first week before the show actually starts. And then I run some tests after the week. So those power cycles on and off uh, in the evening, simulating the show running is enough to uh, ferret out any, of, any pixels that will go bad if it, has, if, it, if it will go bad from storage. Okay, let's take a look at the different types of pixel replacement, uh, field repair, things that I've purchased over the years. Um, a lot of these I actually have never used just because I've found other better options, but I'll walk through these just because we'll see a lot of these in the forums. Uh, so the first thing that I, I always do is, as, as a permanent solution, I always just solder on new pixels. The heat shrink tubing is very inexpensive when you get them in a roll and just cut them off and replace them. This is the cheapest. This also takes the longest. So any pixel repair will use six of these, three for uh, one side, three for the other side. But then again, it's, it's not that much. It's just the time to, to do that. Um, all my permanent repairs, I always come back and do this. I, I purchased these heat shrink solder tubes. 
So you stick the two wires in, one on each side and one on the other side. You want the wires to feather together in this middle area. And then you hit it with, heat, um, with the heat gun. In my case, I use the butane torch. Um, I found these to be somewhat problematic. Um, getting both wires in while up in a prop uh, sometimes isn't as easy as it looks. And then the heat shrink on this uh, seems to take a lot of heat to start to shrink. And when it starts to, this metal uh, solder that's in here, when it starts to melt, actually gets so hot that I've had it burst through the side of the heat shrink, at least with my butane torch. You may not have that issue if you're using a heat gun, um, but I have not uh, had great success with this. I did use this almost exclusively for repairs um, in the first year at the Vine Church, and we had a lot of uh, repairs uh, that needed to be done because pixels were failing due to uh, voltages being too high. So check out my other video about MoVotes Mo problems, but I used a lot of these in there and it was not that much uh, quicker than just doing regular soldering. You would need six of those as well for any pixel repair. Uh, so people have talked about these dolphin connectors. You would use six of these as well. Um, you stick two wires in and then you just squeeze them down and it has a gel inside that waterproofs it and seals it and makes a connection. So um, I got, got a bag of these to try out. Again, never used them because I found other options that work. This is also very similar. This is a, a UR IDC connector. You stick uh, your two wires uh, into the end and then you squeeze down on this red part and it'll waterproof seal it and make a connection. Ended up getting uh, two packs of these because each pack only has 25. And if you need to use six of these for any pixel repair, you're only looking at four pixel repairs here, four pixel repairs there. Um, so you end up using a lot of these. Going back to the dolphins, this bag has 100 pieces, so 100 divided by 6, you're talking like 13, 15 pixels or so that you can pair with this. Uh, this is my favorite product for temporary repair, and I use this on my show once to quickly get up and running. So you can disconnect the output on any of your uh, DC lines for the pixels, and then clip the a pixel that you want to take out, put a new one in. And what this is, is it's got um, three straight through connectors. So you open up these three and it's just a straight pass through um, and it locks down. So you strip the wires on the leading pixel, stick the three wires in, close it down, strip the three wires on the uh, pixel that you're replacing, stick them in there, make sure you have the same thing. It's just straight through. So you would do like uh, 12 volts or whatever a ground and data in the middle, lock that down, and then you would need another one for the other side. And once you have that done, it's very quick because you just, the stripper will strip all three wires at one time, stick them in there, lock them down, um, get these two back in, connect your pigtail back up and you're running again. So this really only works if you are in a place that it's somewhat water protected because these, these things are not necessarily uh, waterproof. I've not tried them out in the rain. I've uh, used these in the, um, underneath my roof eaves. Um, that's great. And so that I used temporarily. And then when I had a chance, I just uh, removed those and put the permanent fix in. So if you get a box of these things, it comes with 25 pieces. You need two of these for any pixel repair. So this could support uh, 12 uh, pixel temporary repairs in the field. And then you can go back and do your soldering. So that wraps up what's in my show uh, bin for uh, deployment and also for any kind of repairs. I hope this helps. We'll see you next time.